Welcome, my name is Nick. This is Nick's Fort. I do filmmaking tutorials and I also share my own films on this channel. And today is to the freaking point Friday. And today we're gonna get to the freaking point about how to remove background sounds from your audio in your videos. Actually, I got a fan. This is a new fan. It's got power cool, refresh, white noise, sleep. Sorry, this isn't to the freaking point. Let me just set this up. So we've got the fan set up in the background and that's making this sound in my video now. And why would I wanna get rid of that? Because my sound is going to sound so much better when I remove that constant humming from the background. If you're doing an interview with someone, if you're doing a vlog, if you're anything where there's someone talking in an environment and there's a fan, there's a fridge, there's an AC and you can't turn it off, you're gonna use this technique of sound removal to remove that sound and make your interview sound just sound so much freaking better. Step one is to get room tone, which I made a video about a couple weeks ago and I'll link it right here so you can go watch that and learn the ins and outs of gathering room tone. Basically it's the ambiance of the room and you need to do that to then be able to remove the sound most efficiently. So I'm gonna get some room tone right now. So we have this room tone right here in this section. And the best thing to do right now is just right click your audio and you're gonna head up here and hit edit clip and audition. Now that we have our clip loaded up in audition, we're gonna go over to that section where the room tone is. And I'm just gonna hit the plus on my keyboard to zoom in a little bit. And we have this big chunk here, which is super convenient. And that's why room tone is nice is because for a nice clean noise print to remove the sound, you really want just no talking at all. So you could dial up inside of like one of these little areas, right, um, you know, here and be like, oh, I'm gonna grab this tiny little slice, but we don't have to do that. So that's a big win for being smart and getting room tone. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab, you know, a big chunk here. I'm gonna hit play, listen to it. Sounds like the fan, sounds like the fan is going hard in that, perfect. And now I'm gonna hit shift P and that's gonna set my noise print, okay? And I'm gonna hit okay right there. If you don't wanna use the hotkey, you can go up here and hit effects and slide down to noise reduction and restoration and do capture noise print, which is shift P. The next thing we're gonna do is noise reduction, which is the process, which is control shift P on a uh, PC here. So I'm gonna actually click away from that noise print so I have the entire clip here. And I, I like to hit control A to select the whole thing. And then I'm gonna hit uh, control shift P. And now we are in our noise print area. So if I go down here and I hit play. So we've got the fan set up in the background and that's making this sound in my video now. We can't even hear the fan anymore because we've effectively removed that that noise. It's so fast and simple and amazing. Uh, and, and some quick things to, to review here. You can reduce the noise by sliding the slider down back and forth. 100 is the most. Uh, and, and, and same with this one, uh, the amount of decibels here, you slide it to the left, it turns it down. So I'm gonna play that and show you what that sounds like. And why would I wanna get rid of that? Because my sound is going to sound so much better when I remove that constant humming from the background. If you're doing an interview with someone, if you're doing a vlog, if you're... So by reducing the noise to 100% on both of these, in this situation, it's working really, really well. In a lot of situations, you're gonna get this weird tinny sound and you're gonna not wanna slide this all the way up. So you're gonna have to find out where it lands best for you. And frequently when I'm doing this, I'm finding myself hitting 50, 60, maybe 70%. And then I'm also gonna slide this and end up in between 30 and 40, depending on the situation. This is a really good example where you can just really blast it all the way up here and you're not getting in that tinny sound. And if you go up here and you click output noise only, it's a really nice feature for this because you're gonna hear the sound that it's removing only. So if you're hearing sounds of your voice in this, that means that the noise print is removing sounds of your voice. So you wanna be careful about that. And that's a really good tool to use to make sure that you're not taking too much out of your voice. I'm gonna hit play and you're gonna hear that it's just the noise that's being removed. So much 
And if we click ahead over here to the fan, we can hear that it's just the fan. And if I click off, now we're hearing what it's removing. There's basically no sound there, which is perfect. The last thing I'm gonna show you down here is the spectral decay rate, spectral decay rate. If you slide this around with your, your noise print on, you're gonna be able to hear big differences. I end up landing on zero on the spectral decay so often. Uh, sometimes I slide the smoothing up and down and move that around a little bit and I'll, I'll loop something. Step one is to get room tone, which I made a video about a couple weeks ago and I'll link it right here so you can go watch that and learn the ins and outs of gathering room tone. And so if I like how it sounds, then that's pretty much all I'm going to do with my noise print. And you need to make sure that um, I've found that you don't want to have a, a certain spot selected. You want to either have nothing selected or control A, have it all selected. Make sure you have this checked off. You don't want that checked on. If it's checked on, it's going to really muck up your whole thing. It's going to make your audio just the noise. So make sure that's off and then you hit apply. It's going to go through this process of saving and now you can see on the waveform the noise is virtually gone if we zoom in here there's really nothing happening there's nothing happening right here the one additional thing that you might want to do depending on uh, how bad the noise is in your audio clip is you would go over to your effects rack on the left and uh, you would load up dynamics right here which is under amplitude and compression and then dynamics and then you're gonna open this up and there's a feature called the auto gate right here. This is like the floor of your decibels. So as you're speaking, there's a certain volume that your voice will hit and there's also a minimum volume. So if I set this to like negative 20, you're gonna hear my voice cutting in and out as I hit play. I'll link it right here so you can go watch that and learn the ins and outs of gathering room tone. And you can see it up here, the red and yellow that flash as I'm speaking that's noting that it's cutting off what is being said and what you're hearing. So that is not what you wanna do. You wanna find the sweet spot where that doesn't happen. So I might hit play and slide that as it's playing. Step one is to get room tone, which I made a video about a couple of weeks ago and I'll link it right here so you can go watch that and learn the ins and outs of gathering room tone. Um, basically it's the ambient. And, and to be clear, when it hits the red and yellow in between your sentences and in between your talking, that is fine. That means that it's cutting off the sound completely and removing the background sound completely. So in this little gap right here between these two things, you're going to want to hit, hit red, but not while I'm talking. So let's see what that looks like at negative uh, 40. That to then be able to remove the sound most efficiently. And so I think that sounds pretty good. I always play it a little safe, especially in a situation like this where the background sound isn't that bad um, because the noise print was super strong. I'm just going to do negative 60 of the room. And you need to do that to then be able to remove the sound most efficiently. And so it's that's cutting off the background noise in these moments where I'm not speaking at all, but it's preserving my actual um, voice as I'm talking. So I did that. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and hit uh, save. And I'm going to Oh, sorry, whoops, you have to do this. And I always forget to do this. You have to hit apply down here on the left uh, for your dynamics to be applied. And then I'm just going to hit control s which is saving the document, you could do file save. And now that's automatically going to update over in Premiere Pro. And as you can see, the waveform in my Premiere Pro has gotten cut oh. down right now and the sound of the fan, I'm gonna get some room tone right now, is gone. We don't hear it anymore, just like we heard it before. So, that, I'm, let's get back to me dancing here. So this is the same exact take right now, and I've removed the sound. We've finished the sound removal process, and we can no longer hear the fan that is going on behind me. And just in case you think that I turned it off, yeah, I didn't turn it off. Here's a little demonstration. It is on power cool, which is the highest setting that we have available to us. I don't think it's going to be crazy on the hair, but it should move it. Mm. So as you can see, the fan is still on. We cannot hear it. 
we've removed the sound. Success. Before you guys take off, please drop a comment below. If you dig this video, give that thumbs up a clickety clackety. Also, if you think one of your friends might really benefit from learning this or learning some of these filmmaking tips, please share my channel with them. I wanna help as many people as I can and the more that you guys share this, the more that I can help more people and that's awesome. If you guys aren't subscribed, feel free to subscribe below. You can pop on notifications. And most importantly, get out there this weekend, film some cool stuff and have some fun. Peace. It's not a powerful fan, but you know. Man, this really isn't, how do I? I thought it would be like, whoa, blowing my hair. You can see it, you can see it moving. Can you see it? Can you see it moving? There it is. There it is.